Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new Renegade Volt ES200i. So I got my demo unit in. Um, there's been a lot of talk about this machine. I'm pretty excited to see this thing and try it out. So in this video today, I'm going to tell you what it comes with, what the functions of the machine are. We're going to stick weld with this machine, and we're going to go over some general knowledge about it, what I don't like, what I do like, the differences in the competition compared to this one. Um, so let's just hop right in, and I'll give you guys some specs. So this thing will put out it's 200 amp max on corded, so it, it, back up a second on the corded side of things, so you can run this on four different way power signs. So you can run straight battery, you can run on 110, 220, and it's also got this AC amp plus mode that we can also run on. So we're going to go over that here, what that does, but we got 200 out, max output on plugged in to 220, 150 amps on the batteries, and then we can run up to a 530 second stick electrode on this. Um, maximum number of stick electrodes on 6013 is uh, 33, and we got a long run time on this thing, so about 21 minutes on average on stick welding, and about 45 minutes on average with TIG welding, a lot open arc on TIG. So this thing, we, we'll link the TIG kit below too, we're all, also offering that as well, um, and we're going to show that in another video, but let me show you the batteries here. So what this unit comes with, we got our stick electrode holder, got our ground clamp, we got our 110 220 adapter, so it automatically comes molded with the 220 plug right there. And then obviously that plugs in just like the, um, the Rebels and ESOP Rebel and that comes with that plug, so it's pretty nice. You can go to 110. It comes with the four port battery charger by DeWalt. So this one, <clears throat> this unit, and you guys may not already know or not know, but this one's on four DeWalt. 60 volt max batteries. These are 12 amp hour batteries um, and it comes with four of them in the package with the Renegade Volt. So you get four batteries, the welding machine, the charger, your stick electrode holder, your ground, the adapter, and you also get the shoulder strap. And it's actually pretty nice. So this unit by itself is 54 pounds with four batteries in it. So got a little bit of weight to it, but nothing bad. So 54 pounds, it does come apart. So this is actually, this, this piece it's clipped on, so on the back, I'll show you here. Put the clip right here, under the clip, and you just pick up, and it separates from the bottom. So you can potentially carry this and this at two separate, both hands, right? Kind of evenly distributes the weight when you're carrying them. Um, we'll clip that back in here. So on the back side as well, we got our on-off switch. And this is the plug that connects the batteries to the power pack. So, and that's just a quick connect uh, type plug. Pretty awesome. A couple of things though that didn't come installed on this unit, and I'll go over that here. Um, the strap, T25 torque screws, that comes off and then the strap clips down in and then you put the, the handle cover back on. And another thing that didn't come with, or didn't come installed, were these two. And that's a T20. Those come separately. You gotta screw them in, and that's what holds this unit to the battery pack itself. Now, one good thing about this, and what I like about it is, when the batteries die, we can plug it in the 220 and run that run that unit, and while the batteries are charging, pretty awesome unit here. So let me pull one of these out here, and I'll show you too. So these come out, and it's just the Dewalt. Flex volt, 60, 60 volt max lithium ion battery, uh, 12 amp hour unit, that's what this comes with. And if you're gonna run this unit, and say you got other DeWalt batteries, they have to be all the same. So if you have 112, 119, 16, you can't mix match them, you gotta run all the same. So if you got nines, you gotta run all nines. If you got 12s, you gotta run all 12s. But it comes with the 12, it's just a regular DeWalt battery, plugs into our charging port here. And it starts to charge. So this is the fast charge um, by DeWalt too, and it comes with this unit. So it's pretty innovative in that this thing, you know, it, it's running. We can replace our batteries. That's what I love about this unit too. Other competition, you got to go to a dealer or a service center to get that battery swapped out. So just remember, three-year warranty on the DeWalt batteries, three-year warranty on the um, Renegade too. 100% guaranteed satisfaction, satisfaction guaranteed, so plug this and what we'll do here, I'll show you, the, we'll go through the screen settings here. Button, 
heard it click. It takes a second to recognize the battery mode, but the screen will light up here. And just like here, other ESOP, so there it is, Renegade Volt. We got our selector switch, power knob, and our return uh, knob or button there. On the front, you can see we got our, our connection for our TIG torch, uh, 50 millimeter DINs connections on the front end of this, so nice and heavy duty. So we're going to go back. And just on the screen here, we got our stick mode, and you can just toggle in. You can stick or TIG. We got our settings, set our language. We can change our display brightness. We can go down to amp mode, which is amp plus mode, which is we have auto and extended. That's for when we want to plug in an extension cord and run longer with the battery backup. Breaker size, we tell how big our breaker is when we're in the amp plus mode. We got sleep mode, which is adaptive, which it'll shut down over a certain amount of time. You can click on that and change it as well. So if it stays stationary for a while, it'll shut down. We got battery status. It's going to tell us where we're at, 95, 99, 99, 99. So pretty cool. It's going to tell us where they're all four at. Battery capacity, 12 amp hours. See, so you can run nines and sixes on there as well. We're going to tell it 12. We've got a remote min level, so it's a percentage of the minimum amperage that for output. Um, and then factory reset, we can just click on that and it'll factory reset the whole machine because you got something set up in there. And then we got about, and it's got all the uh, serial numbers and the versions and everything. So let's go back here on settings. We got information. So we got wares and spares, accessories, recommended filter our filler metals, and then general maintenance. So just to toggle through these different ones, wear and spares, gives you the back caps, all your consumables for your TIG torch, go back, accessories, gives you your ground cable, your stinger, your strap, gives you all the part numbers, the DeWalt battery part number for the 12 amp hour battery, the charging station, pretty cool, it gives you all that so you don't have to look that stuff up. Recommended filler metal. So what are we doing? We're either gonna stick or TIG. We're gonna stick weld, and it just gives you some standard stick electrodes in there with their classification. Pretty cool. We'll back out of that. General maintenance. So each use weekly, three months, six months. Let's just see what. So each use, it gives us a visual touch to see. Um, just checking parts, that sort of thing. The battery tray. It's pretty awesome. Then all the way up to six month. It's giving us everything on that. Then the user manual. So everything's on that and that, give, that gives us a QR code because so you scan that and then that's our user manual on our phone. We'll get on to this. We'll go back home and then electrodes. Rutile basic or cellulose. So cellulose is going to be your 6010 stick electrode and then the Rutile basic is a 7018 which we have 7018 so I'm going to change it to that. Remote. That's for your TIG torch, jobs, we got job numbers up to 10 of them we can store, pretty cool. Then we got hot start and arc force, both set to 5, that's about the middle of the road, it goes up to 10, we'll, we'll put them both at 5. So let's give this thing a shot on stick weld and see how it runs. Alright, so let's give this a shot, I got an 8 inch 7018 um, in our backpacks here. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick on this, so we got open circuit voltage there, I'm at 120 amps, eighth inch, but it's giving me a run time of 11 minutes that I have that I can run at 120 amps. 89% battery life, pretty awesome that we can go up, down up to 140, and see we drop to nine minutes, we come down to say 55, now I got 27 minutes. So it's gonna tell you, it's gonna change with the amperage setting and with your hot start and your dig. Let's go back up to 120. So I got my crown hooked up, we're ready to go.
yeah, real soft arc. Struck up real nice. And that's uh, it's pretty smooth. I'm going to see if it changed on our time a little bit here. So we're at, let's say, 48.9 seconds. Is that, that's going to be our timer. 121 amps on average. So pretty cool. That Man, it ran good. I'm, I'm, that's impressive. Um, so now remember, you can run this straight battery mode, 110, 220, with hand plus mode. Um, all in all, that's a, it's a heck of a little machine for what you're getting as far as all the batteries. You can interchange them. I love that. It's, that's such a nice thing. So at online or bakersgas.com, we, we're going to link down below all the batteries. We're going to sell those to. Um, and then we'll link all the accessories you'll get below. And then in my second video on this, we're going to TIG weld with it, show that off. But if you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below and we'll do our best to answer them. And then right now, as far as uh, promos go, we have a $50 gift card for the first people who buy these on bakersgas.com. So and we'll send that to you along with the purchase of the Renegade Bowl. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.